Hey guys, Marlo back again, and this is my review of the 1-6 scale Agent Scully figure from the X-Files, brought to you by 3-0. Again, this is a 1-6 scale collectible figure, as you can see there. The front of the package, which is really simple. You have the, uh, did I say 3-0? This is, I guess, 3-A. 3A uh, hologram sticker there to signify that this is their official product. And the side of the package again, three. It's three zero, okay. But they have three A there, so I guess uh, they're throwing both of those on there. Um, back of the package, which is pretty much identical to the front, the other side there. And this is the deluxe version, so there should be, I believe, an extra trench coat thrown in. So we'll take a look at that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open up the package and check out the contents inside. Oops. It's again, a really simple box. I don't mind trashing this box. And here is the figure and its clamshell tray in from within the box. You can see the figure there, her accessories. Real quick, this is how she comes straight out of the package. And as I said, with the deluxe figure, you get the trench coat, which is right there at the back. So that's cool that they did not forget that. So without further ado, let me go ahead and open up the package, take all the contents out for a closer look at everything out of package. And here we have the Dana Scully figure out of the uh, clamshell uh, tray from inside the box. And you can see she stands pretty good. Unfortunately, there's no display stand that comes with the figure. But again, she does seem to stand pretty good, even with the high heels, as you can see there. And with the deluxe version, you do get the trench coat, as I mentioned. And this looks pretty nice. See the buttons there, really well tailored. The nice uh, material inside there as well. And we can go over the accessories. She comes with a pistol, holster, cell phone, flashlight, her badge, and of course her ID there in this uh, badge holder type thing. Very similar to Mulder's. Uh, it's like a rubber material. It doesn't really stay closed because it's just a solid rubber piece. So just more identification for her to uh, hold up, I guess, to, uh, you know, show that she is an FBI, FBI agent. There is a skirt, I suppose, if you wanted to swap it out instead of the pants. And again, some extra hands there, two uh, grasping hands, two fisted hands, and a... Uh, hand there for grasping a pistol I guess with the trigger finger and some extra pegs in case you break or lose those for the hands and an extra clip there for the uh, badge her uh, FBI ID badge and if we look closely the details are pretty cool oops what's going on with the focus come on losing the focus there but anyways hopefully you could see that okay and as well as the accessories you get a nice instruction manual there warranty warranty sheet from 303a and uh, if you want you can uh, you know pause the video to take a closer look at these instructions nothing on the back well, that's more or less it. It's just how to, uh, you know, detach the feed if you want to swap out the skirt and uh, how to attach the uh, FBI ID badge there. So those are the accessories with the deluxe version of Agent Scully here. Give you guys a view of everything from inside. And let me try to get the accessories on her and give you guys a few... Uh, close-up looks at her with the accessories on and here is Agent Scully I just threw on her uh, ID badge there on her lapel 
holding her uh, other set of ID or identification there with her badge. And of course the flashlight. Uh, her gun you can just put in the holster there. The uh, piece here does un uh, unbutton so you can easily snap that back into place if you want. And I don't know, I couldn't find a spot for the phone. And I don't know, I'll see if I can swap out the pants for the skirt to give you guys a look at that. Uh, I don't really want to undo the jacket because the buttons are really, uh, you know, they're actual buttons that are attached through tiny little holes there for the buttons and it just looks like a pain to try to undo that. So I'm not going to bother <laughs> moving the jacket for you guys. But let's take a look at the details while we're at it. Hopefully the camera will focus okay the badge. You can see the head sculpt is really nice as well as the likeness to Gillian Anderson. And it's just a little bit uh, too late I think for uh, the release of these figures. The F Fox Mulder uh, and uh, Agent Scully figures by 3-0. Because X-Files is, uh, I don't know, it's not in the public eye anymore. I'm an old time fan, so uh, I'm glad to have these figures. These would have been nice uh, many years ago when uh, the X-Files were a lot hotter. And it was kind of cool that they made a bit of a comeback the last couple years. But uh, still, I don't think uh, there's as many fans as there used to be for these figures. So I don't know if they're selling well, but uh, these are by far the best one six scale figures of these characters. I did buy the uh, original sets from Sideshow Collectibles back in the day and they were you know some of the better figures at the time but by today's standards those figures are quite ugly. Um, I think I tried to have some custom figures made but never quite finished those so anyways I'm glad to again have these figures by 3-0 you guys a look at the details there with the uh, shoes nice high heels and her body is quite uh, thin quite petite uh, I guess it suits her she was a uh, petite lady and we'll see how she sizes up against uh, Fox Mulder so let me get that figure and give you guys a look at Fox next to Scully here and here we have Dana Scully next to Fox Mulder and Fox really looks huge next to Dana Scully there. Um, <laughs> I didn't think uh, the size would be that different. I mean I knew she'd be shorter but uh, overall her frame is really really tiny and petite looking. So next to Mulder there she does look a little bit on the smaller side. I think she should be just a little bit thicker. I mean, at least that's how I remember her. Not not too thick, but you know, just a tad bit thicker. As far as her height, her height is pretty good. She is right under 11 inches there, maybe about 10 and a half inches, which again is about right because she is shorter than Fox Mulder who is at about 12 inches tall, being a 1-6 scale figure. Again, a look at both of them. What do you guys think? Do they look uh, proportionate and correct in size? Maybe it's just me. I mean, again, the height is right, but Scully just looks a bit just really thin to me, just really small. So we'll see. But, anyways, they size up decently I suppose. They dis they display pretty nicely. I don't have the accessories on uh, Mulder there but uh, I just wanted you to see the uh, size comparison of both side by side. I did swap out the pants on Dana there for the skirt just to give you guys a look at that and I put her pistol in hand. If you want to take a closer look at the legs you can see the joints there just to uh, what do you call it? Two joints there at the knees for some decent articulation. And uh, you can see as the 
as you go up the legs the skin tone does get a little bit lighter as you go up to the thigh area I don't know if that's showing through the camera but uh, they did do some uh, paint variations from the bottom going up to the legs there so again that's Scully with the skirt let me pose her next to Mulder again give you guys a look at both of them side by side and again they look pretty nice again if you are an X-Files fan you'll be you know re really happy and glad to have this in the collection I'm definitely happy again like I said it just took uh, too long to get these out there for the fans I mean it's uh, been years since uh, the height of the X-Files in their glory days but uh, yeah I think that's it more or less uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this quick unboxing and review of the 3-0 Dana Scully figure again from the X-Files if you haven't already, please do subscribe, take care, keep on collecting, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. Oops. Just some last-minute views of the head sculpt there, which I think is really nice. Alright guys, bye bye.